All right. Good morning, one and all. My name is Samil Shah. Welcome to this video. Um, so, as I promised, every week we are going to learn something new. Uh, so, this week we are going to learn something that is very popular in the market right now, and it's trending right now. It's called as Rabbit MQ. I would be guiding you from step by step how to install Rabbit MQ, how to use Rabbit MQ, and would be showing you a lot of examples. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Let's get started without wasting much of time. So, uh, by the way, the complete slides are there on my LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn slide share. The links are there in the description. So, if you cannot see the screen, again, the <clears throat> the slide links are there in the description, and we will do everything step by step. Right. So, let's get started. So, a little bit about uh, myself. Uh, my name is Samil Shah. I'm a software and a hardware developer uh, based in New York City. Um, I completed my bachelor's in electronic engineering uh, in India from University of Mumbai and currently I'm about to complete my double masters in electrical and computer. I design Python based desktop application, web apps, software, REST APIs, database and much more. Right, right? So, um, now let's get started. Like what exactly, what is RabbitMQ? So I'm going to read the definition first and then we will jump into um, uh, a very good uh, examples also okay so a, a, a rabbit mq is an open source message broker software that originally implements advanced messaging queues protocol and has since been extended with a plugin architecture to support streaming of text oriented protocol messaging queuing telemetry transport and other protocols in short, simple language, what does that mean? Basically, if you want to transmit data from one A point to B point, use RabbitMQ. Simple thing, okay? Understanding some of the terminology uh, of RabbitMQ, this is very, very important, I, I would say. So, uh, so, there is something called as a producer. So, producer is something called as which will generate the data or which will send the data, right? So, if I am uh, the teaching you this i am delivering the content so i am the producer right so that is what a producer is q so what is a q basically when this word comes we saying oh, okay q is a data structure right yes you are right it's a data structure so let me again read the definition and then i like explain you in a layman language a q is a name of a post box which live inside the rabbit mq although the messages flow through the rabbit mq and your application they can only be stored inside a queue a queue a queue is only bound by host memory and disk limit it essentially is a large message buffer many producers can send messages that go one queue and many uh, consumers can try to receive the data from one queue this is how we represent a queue okay simple language what is a queue? Think a queue as a as a bucket. So let's say in a bucket, um, no, bucket won't be a good example. Okay, think a queue um, as a people who are standing for in a um, people who are going to the bank. We have to go to the bank. So the first person came in would be served first, right? Now the second person has to wait. He'll say, hey, wait, it's my number, right? Third person said, again, he'll be in the queue. Fourth, fifth. So we'll form a line, right? That's a queue. Simple, very simple layman language. So consuming, as I said, what is a consumer? A one who consumes or, you know, one who's going to send the data. Let's install the RabbitMQ on Mac OS. Uh, so it's a pretty easy. It's just three lines of command. Brew update, so which will update. How to install RabbitMQ. So brew install RabbitMQ, right? And then you export this part. Again, the slides are there in my description. So make sure to check that out. Installing the Python client, we have to, uh, the whole idea is of this YouTube channel is Python, right? We do everything with Python. So Python mpip install pika upgrade. So this will install the pika library. That is the client side library for RabbitMQ. So this is our very first example. Now I'm going to end this video right here and I'm going to switch to my OBS studio so that we can make this example. So I'll conclude this video right here. This is a part one where we got an overview idea of what RabbitMQ is exactly, right? And uh, so basically we learned some of the terminologies of RabbitMQ. And in the next part, we are gonna actually make our first example on RabbitMQ. 
will run the server, will open the admin interface and will create the queue manually. We'll write some Python code on sender and client. We'll do everything. Okay. So I hope you, uh, you will enjoy this tutorial series. If so, do give a like. Uh, this is part one. Part two, we will be diving straight into action. Um, so that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. So do not, um, I mean, do see my part two. It's very interesting. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, see you in part two.